Hi guys, Down Under Monkey here. I uh, just received a package in the mail from Steel Pinnings. Uh, me and him have been talking about some locks that I was after. Came to an arrangement and now here they are. I'm very excited. I just wanted to share it with you guys. So, um, we'll start with Steel Pinnings. Um, great channel. Go and check it out. He's always doing fun stuff over there. Really laid back guy. Very friendly, very easy to deal with. Um, go check him out, Steel Pennies. Okay, now let's get this thing going. Get the knife. Be careful not to chop my fingers off. So yeah, I wasn't expecting this package uh, now, to be honest. I was expecting this in a couple of weeks. But, I'm very, very excited that it's here, because there's a lot of cool stuff in here that we've been talking about. Um, I'm just going to chop that open. New year, new package. I'm very, very excited about this. So, I'm going to take them out over here. I'll bring them across one by one as I get them open. So, first up, we're going to go with this little one. That is a Sergeant Mortis Lock. I believe we spoke of this. I can't remember too much about it, but that is a fantastic looking keyway. Some really nice bidding. I've got to try and get past that one to get to the next one. Jeez. Um, there is a helicopter flying over me at the moment, so it may get a little bit noisy. Unfortunately, I live directly under a flight path for a local small airport and an aerodrome. So we get lots of fun stuff. But that, that is a fantastic looking lock. I'm really happy with that one. I don't know too much about Sergeant. Oh, and it's got Asa Abloy written on there too. Anyway, I will do some research on that. Okay, next. These were all wrapped really nicely too in the box. All wrapped in plastic so they're not going to get scratched. Now, Corbin. I don't know if anyone can see that. Again, not a lot that I know a hell of a lot about. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, okay. So it's got a control key and an operation key. That's really nifty. Um, yeah, They're living down here in Australia, we don't get a lot of locks like these, so these are really cool. I can't wait to have a crack at these. Trying to pick to the control one as well as picking it to turn. That is very, very interesting. Okay, that's really cool. I like that. So not bad bidding on the end there. Jeez. I think I'll have fun with that. Nice, nice, nice. Now let's move on to that's a nice little lock. And got the sweet little tag on there. Steel pinnings. That's really nice. Now, what is this? This is, looks like a slage of some description. Oh, wow. Look at that bidding. That is going to be murder. That's really cool. I don't actually know too much about this lock. Dream on. Okay. That's a challenge lock. Thank you very much for that, mate. I'm looking at that bidding, and I'm already having heart palpitations. <laughs> That's really cool. I can't wait to have a crack at that. Works like a dream, too. Dream on. <laughs> looking forward to it. And on to the next one. Beautifully packaged. Oh, this was the Yale we were talking about. Again, 
the bidding on that. Nifty. Um, you may be able to hear a bird in the background there. They like to land on my shed and try to bugger videos up. But that's cool. You can make a little bit of noise. The pin in there looks really strange. Um, maybe that is a control key. Ah, it is. Yeah, okay. So the control key drops it out. And then you've got your operation key. These are really nifty. I um, haven't got too many locks. I mean, I have one best cylinder that has a control key. But yeah, nothing like that. It's particularly in a mortise. I mean, I've got the best cylinder only, but I don't have anything to put it in. That's cool. It gives you twice as much fun to pick because you've got to pick to the control one as well as getting it open. Okay, what is this one? This is, ah, uh, it's one of the best cores. Best? Oh, actually, that might be the, I don't really know what that is. I'm confused, but that doesn't take much. Seven pin, two, three, four, five, seven. Yeah, right. I can't remember what that is. I'm gonna have to go back through my notes. Um, I did make a note of what was coming, but I can't recall exactly what it was. All right, let me put that there for a sec. And go with the next one. Oh, that's a Carver Peaks. I knew about that one. Uh, that should be a six pin. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to go back through the notes of what we spoke about. Again, it operates really nicely. These are a cool little lock. So you've got your normal key for op operation. Then you've got your control key to drop the sidebar in if you want to change the cylinder it's like a quick change system really cool oh mind the nails my daughter wanted to paint some of my nails monsters ink colors so now i have three sully fingers from monsters ink she likes to paint things um namely me so but that is a really cool lock okay Hmm, interesting. Again, I'm just going to have to go back through my notes because I really can't remember what we've spoken about. I mean, I remember what they are, but specific details of them, I'm not 100% sure. Now, that is a nice lock. Another vest style cylinder. Mortis. It's probably a removable. One of these will be control key, I believe. There it is, control. Okay. Doesn't really want to turn unless I'm missing something. Anyway, I'll figure that one out. B2, oh wow, there's a bunch of different biddings on there, so it must be master keyed. Okay, interesting. And I'll go back to that one. Yeah, right, okay. So, there's a few different biddings on those keys. So it gives me multiple shear lines to pick to. Um, the control key is a little bit jammed. But anyway. Oh, there we go. That got it. And then the cylinder pops out. Yeah, right, okay. It's, the last, the uh, control key was just a little bit tight. But wow, that's cool. There's a bunch of different shear lines to pick to. And that is a 7-pinner. I'm just starting to earn 7 pins now, so that's going to really help me. Oh, except for that keyway. Oh, Lord, what am I supposed to put in there? Anyway, I'll figure that bit out. 
That's a nice cylinder. Um, now, on this one I was looking forward to. Let me get this open. I won't be able to pick this just yet, but I will certainly. Oh, it's trying to have plastic on this one. But that's good, at least it's protected. This was a Karma Aura I was talking to him about. Typical Karma style dimple keys. That actually looks um, potentially like it only goes in one. No, oh no. It goes, it's a two way key, so you can put it in upside down. But yeah, this was an interesting little lock that he had. Um, it looks like it slots into somewhere. Turn the key and pull it out, and these little ball bearings actually lock the cylinder in place. Um, possibly like a correctional facility or something. If I turn that key now, it drops the ball bearings down, raises them back up. When you pull the key out, they don't spring in. Very, very nice lock. I have not started on dimples yet. Well, not like this anyway, not a carver, but that's down the line. I will eventually get to those. That is a really cool lock. I've never seen anything like that before. On to the next one. I have a small box here. Let's try and get that open and see what surprises are in store. Box. Ah, there it is. I've been hanging for this one. A beautiful little American barrel lock, round lock. I don't know. That's a whole bunch of sexy that lock. Some pretty cool bidding on the key too. All really low, and then a high one at the end. That's cool. Just the shape of this. They don't make many locks like this. I mean, you have rotor lock, but they're very, very expensive. This one though, this is really nice. Operates beautifully. Oh, that one is for the collection. I don't think I'll be picking that one, to be quite honest. I've got a, quite a few American locks to pick. I think that one's just gonna go in the collection. That's nice. Wow, thank you so much for that been looking forward to that one and put that up there really really nice now we have here a padlock it's the best padlock from what I can see through the plastic Gosh. well packed oh that one think was the Schlage Everest if I'm saying that right if it's wrong I'm sure someone will let me know the quickest way to get the right answer is say the wrong one on the internet that bidding's not bad nice padlock and this is uh, this was multi-purpose because uh, I didn't have anything to put my cores in uh, I like to pick out of padlocks or out of housings. I, I don't like picking just the core on its own like that. Um, even in the vise they're difficult to hold. You can bind up the core when it's turning so sometimes you'll have it picked but you won't know because it's sort of the, the vise is pinching in on the side. Um, so I do like to have something to house them in. Um, yeah, like a mortise housing or preferably a padlock because I absolutely love padlocks I've got uh, too many but it's all good so yeah this would this would be the one that we spoke about um, which was going to be my housing for them and this should be a control key to pull the cylinder out 
quick change over to the other cylinders which I think is a fantastic idea um, there are a few manufacturers doing this now and uh, it's good to see because it's just really easy to just pop that out change over the section on the back slide your new barrel back in lock it up and either use it to secure something or go picking so that's an interesting keyway and they are interesting keys so the bidding on those is pretty good i think i'll have a lot of fun with that and i believe that some of the other cylinders i have down here potentially not that one but these removables potentially might fit in this um, that's I'll need to do a bit more investigation with that but that's awesome thank you very much for that now there is one more little thing here <clears throat> Merry Christmas and it's wrapped very nicely uh, not sure what this is but thank you so much a little Christmas gift um, so most of the things that were on the list I've found already, so I have no idea what this is. Um, again, more tape, that's good, keeps everything secure, stops things falling out, stops the postal service ripping off my stuff. A little bit of packing goes a long way, particularly coming international, uh, this was wrapped fantastic. Um, some international stuff I've received has been absolutely trampled on. But anyway, oh gosh, what are these? Oh wow, I was not expecting anything else. Oh, that's a little medico. Oh, that's cool. Oh wow. I really need to get stuck into the biaxials. That's a little biaxial uh, cylinder. Oh, sorry, I'm lost for words. I did not expect anything like this. Again, there's a control key so you can pull the little, you can put it in something and quick change. And that runs very smooth. Right. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe, as per my discussion, I think it was with steel pinnings, that biaxials don't actually have driver pins. It's just a pin and a spring, but the pin actually has a hole in the side that needs to locate. So you need to lift the pin and turn it so the hole lines up with uh, a pin, I guess, in the side. Uh, forgive my ignorance, I really don't know a lot about by axials, but gives me something to learn about. Um, now, we have here a little note. I'll read that one in a second. There's another little cylinder in this box. This is a cool looking thing. That is weird. The best, best brand. Well, that's spring loaded. That's cool. It kind of looks like it was in some sort of a mortise lock. Or, yeah, I don't really know. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, right. Look at the bidding on the end of that. Oops. Focus. Wow. I've not seen anything like that before. I mean, it kind of looks like a... Like an oval, but... It's very much smaller than an oval. Put an oval side by side with it. That's really cool. Like a really long oval. Right, I will have to ask steel pinnings about that. It turns nice. A little tight, but it even drops the top in. So, wow, that's a really nifty little lock. Very surprised. Thank you very much for that. I can't wait to have a crack at that. Oh, that's not going back in now. I've killed it. 
Nope, there we go. It's a little tight to turn, so it's going to need some heavy tension. I'm not sure why that is, but wow, surprise. Thank you very much. Now we have here another little package. It looks like another vest something. That's a bit vague. I cannot figure out for the life of me where the plastic ended. There we go. Got it. All right. Ooh, that's nice. A little best padlock. With a chain retainer, I believe. Well, that's an interesting little bottom of the padlock there. Um, okay, so it's got a control key. The bidding on that is wild. <laughs> oh, God. And then you've got your normal key. It's like a zero. Oh, you gotta lift it all the way up. Sorry. Cool. So you've got your little operational key. I love that thunk. Oh, it always sounds so good, especially when you pick a lock and it makes that noise. Very satisfying. And then you've got that's why I like padlocks so much. That's uh, the, the end bit that I like. These keys have a little notch out of the end of them. It must be like a blocker down the back of the cylinder. Um, yeah, right. So if you put the control key in again, you can pull out the core. Make sure nothing is going to fall out. Oh, that's cool down there. It's got some locating pins. Very, very nice little lock, that one. That one will definitely stay in the collection. Thank you very much, mate. That was... Uh, I'm blown away by the extra pieces. That's really cool. Merry Christmas to me, right? Alrighty, now we have here another little package wrapped in a post-it note. I'll just read this off camera. Okay. It says, come on light. Okay. Single key operation, key all the way in operating, pull key out one click and it is control. Right, okay. That's handy to know uh, because I'm very, very near to control keys. I get the rough gist of them. Okay, so pushed all the way in is normal operation. I don't really know if that has a brand on it, but. Judging by the rest of the stuff, it may be best. Anyway, okay, so that's a normal operation. Pull the key out one click. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Key out one click. Ah, uh, there we go. No, nope, that's operation. I may have to buggerize around with this off camera. That's one click. Mm. I'm probably going to have to do this off camera. Pull, pull key out one click and it is control. One click and not. Two clicks, three clicks, four clicks, oh, one click. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to play around with this one off camera. Oh, there we go. So, out one click. I just had to give it a bit of a wiggle. And now it's a control key. It, there may be just something a little bit stuck in there. One of the little master pins might be just a little bit catchy. But you can see the control working there. Pop the key in. That's really cool. So you only need one, one key instead of two for operation. Wow, that was a really cool package. Um, thank you so much to Steel Pennings for all these wonderful locks. I look forward to having a crack at them and progressing my skills a little bit more than they are at the moment. There's quite a few seven pinners in here. There's some absolute nightmare bidding on some of these keys like that and 
um, it gives me a lot of options for swapping cylinders in and out because there are some that aren't the same size. So I've got all these housings now that I can swap them into. The padlock I can put some into in peak and some extra bonuses that I totally was not expecting. Thank you so much mate. Um, like I said before, if you haven't checked out Steel Pink's channel, go and have a look. It's amazing. He's a really laid back guy. Really fun to watch. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll have some pick videos coming up soon with some of this gear in here, but not that one. I'm chuffed with that one. That's really nice. If I was a lock, I'd marry that one. Anyway guys, have a safe new year and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.